Hi guys, Knights Tech UK here again and today I'd like to talk to you uh, about a subject that's very important to me and probably important to you too, uh, technology. Uh, a lot of people don't think about the technology that we have at our disposal and I think that's a shame because I'm 32 years old, no sorry, I'm 31 years old, I'm so old I keep forgetting how old I am. I'm 31 years old so I was uh, born in the 80s obviously and I, uh, when I was a child uh, we didn't have much technology at our disposal, not nowhere near to the capacity that we've got it now. I think the most technological thing I can remember having when I'm talking about child, when I was like about eight or nine years old, was the Game Boy. Uh, and that, that didn't even have a backlit screen. Uh, we, we didn't have mobile phones and we didn't have the internet. Uh, and if you wanted to get hold of someone, you'd actually have to get a phone and ring them at their house and if they weren't in tough shit you couldn't get hold of them it was that simple so in that short 30 years we've expanded our technology so greatly and it's an amazing thing it's an amazing amazing thing and we're very lucky to live in the era that we live now uh, we can have a device with us called our mobile phone that allows us to keep in contact with our loved ones all around the world and my fiance at the moment she's over in India uh, and we can WhatsApp each other continuously throughout the day. It's almost like she's down the road. So we're still connected, even though she's so far away. And I'm so thankful for that. Uh, but a lot of people don't appreciate the technology that they have in their lives. And I do. I see it around us continuously. Like people just don't understand a uh, time before. Even pe like older people that are older than me, they still don't appreciate the technologies that we have at our disposal. We can be more creative than we've ever imagined. We've got so many tools uh, at our disposal to be as creative as we want. We've got uh, mobile phones, we've got uh, digital camcorders that you can easily upload to YouTube like I am to you now. Uh, laptops are so so powerful, PCs in general are so so powerful. We've got tablet PCs. That was in Star Trek in the 80s, late 80s, next generation. They had iPads then and this technology is coming to fruition now. It's actually like feasible, you're using it. You know, it's, uh, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm losing my words now because it excites me so much. So much has happened in the last 30 years uh, in the world of technology. What is going to happen in the next 30 years? That is my question to you guys. I've got no idea. We are going at such an incredible rate now. Look at gaming. Gaming is amazing. The graphics that we can produce now on 4K resolution screens looks lifelike. So you're, looking, you're getting almost uh, photorealistic graphics. Amazing sounds. Everything's moving forward at an extremely fast pace. It excites me, but it scares me because I don't quite know where we're going. And uh, people don't genuinely use technology to its full advantage, to its full potential. Uh, a lot of people just like, like I don't know, browse Facebook. No one really creates anything. Uh, I love social media. I think it's one of the best things that's ever happened to the internet. But obviously there's always a dark side to uh, the to anything that humans do, uh, I find it difficult. Like reading nasty comments on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, when people like attack like uh, celebrities or well-known uh, people on the internet. You know what YouTubers like famous YouTubers. They'll go on to their page and specifically attack that person, and it really upsets me. And you really have to grow a thick skin, I guess, if you're in the limelight. Uh, what people put themselves there, I know. But I guess you have to have a very thick skin to deal with that. But it still, it still bothers me when I read it. And it's even aimed at me. It's aimed at other people. And I'll, I'll always like put a little message and go, look, you don't need to say stuff like that. We've got to use the technology that we've got in a positive, uh, in a positive light. You know, a positive aspect. Let's, let's implement... The technologies that we've got surrounding us, you know, like we got our, uh, oh, here we go, we got our Nintendo DS's. Oh, this new, uh, 3DS is amazing. You know, you can be walking down the street and with uh, the street pass and it'll connect to other 3DS's and you'll get little like symbols come on, the, on, on your screen from their DS so you can see what that they've created on their DS. That's amazing. I think that is absolutely amazing. Uh, it blows me away. Uh, I'm still impressed 
by technology. As I said earlier, I'm slightly scared of where it's leading us and it worries me that some people use technology in a negative like force, but I try not to. I'd upload lots of photos to my Facebook trying to share my life uh, with, with my friends and family. Hopefully they don't get bored by it, but I can understand why they would because not everyone's interests are the same. Uh, YouTube is actually still quite a niche market. I know people that don't even use YouTube. They might use it to like watch the odd uh, funny video or they all like uh, oh, what's that? Use for music as well, you know, music videos. But they, they don't subscribe to anybody. And I, I use YouTube a lot. I love YouTube. YouTube is one of the best things uh, on the internet for me. If I had to ha only have access to one website on the internet, it would be YouTube because I am subscribed to some amazing people. Some they inspire me. Uh, they've inspired me to do my own channel. Uh, and again, that's amazing technology that we've got our hands on. The internet itself is growing and growing. Now, don't, obviously, as I keep saying, I don't know where it's going to end up. I, don't, I bet you don't even know where it's going to end up. Uh, I'm going to end this video with uh, a simple question. What does technology mean to you? I, I'm honestly, truly uh, wondering what, what does internet mean to you? Not internet, sorry, technology. Technology as a whole. Uh, what do you think of the technologies that we've got? Do you think we're using it for good? Do you think we're using it as bad as a whole? Uh, where do you think it's going to lead? Where do you think the uh, technology is going to lead? Uh, what do you think the downside of technology is? What do you think the upside? Just, just discuss. I really would like to get into some uh, debates about this because it's something that I think about a lot. I spend a lot of time thinking about... Uh, technology and how lucky we are to have it. Uh, I bought recently, uh, bought something recently on uh, eBay. Uh, it's called Game Boy Light. Here we go. This was released in 1998. It was only released in the Japanese market. Uh, I, I was a big Game Boy fan uh, when I was growing up and I I've, I've still got all my Game Boys now. Uh, but I never knew about this Game Boy Light. Uh, this was, as I said, was released in 1998, only in Japan. Uh, but the unique thing about this Game Boy Light is that it's actually got a light <laughs> given away in the name. So as we can see here, look at that, it's backlit. <laughs> 1998, they should have released this in England. An amazing piece of technology. And I, I've, been play, I've been playing Zelda. I've been playing Zelda a lot lately because of that backlight. It makes the Game Boy even more enjoyable. Her saying, I love it, technology. Anyway, as always, Take care. Uh, oh, sorry, but one second. If you did like this video, please subscribe, please like. As always, take care.